were still sold out Christian who were up to. It made Satan and I very angry. We wanted them all to be left behind. But they withstood every kind of bombardment we gave them. Like what? Inflated bills, low use, diabetes, cancer, asthma, noise pollution, loud neighbors, car troubles, computer viruses, scam artists, persecution at the workplace. We still lose a whole lot of these hardcore Christians! But they persevered! Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. 2 Timothy 3.12 but now, after the rapture, there's a million times harder, Alex, than me. Oh, you let them go. Got a heart that can't be broken because it's already wide open. So I don't care if you expose me, Alex. I have total power now over everyone and everything. Except God. Why did God even make human beings? To glorify His name. But we were fools. And many will spend eternity in hell. Well, they were a sad lot. Again, if they couldn't live for Jesus then, why would they die for Jesus now? was in distress because of God. God was responsible for the climate change. Yet the government refused to mention God one single time. In fact, none of the Democrat leaders ever mentioned God. They were more concerned about Trump than to ever talk about God. You have fires burning up California. You had a worldwide pandemic. Instead of turning to God, they called for wearing face masks. Are you kidding? Satan loved it. And I loved it too. Wide open so much love in you. With a heart wide open. Is yoga actually demonic? No doubt. Is it actually something to be concerned about? Or is it a bunch of just paranoia from these religious Christians thinking everything's demonic? Well, let me tell you, two years ago, I was a certified yoga instructor with hundreds of hours of training. And it was my passion. My passion was healing. My passion was helping people heal. And little did I know I was deceived. And not until I was saved by Jesus Christ did I know that, whoa, yoga is a whole different animal. This isn't just stretching and, and physical exercise. If you truly follow yoga, the spiritual path of yoga, the word yoga is to be yoked with. To be united with. And in the ancient texts of Hinduism, the Vedas, the Bhagavad Gita, which is like the Hindu Bible, talks about being yoked with the universal consciousness. It's all about merging your soul with the universal consciousness. Now, most people going to yoga studios doing yoga have no idea about this, nor do they have any really desire to do that. They're mostly there for physical exercise, for, you know, mental health and and something beneficial to their life to, to just stay healthy and stay flexible, which are all great things. But the thing is, you are pursuing that under a greater covering, under a greater mission of yoga, which is completely anti-biblical, completely anti-Christian, and will actually end up in extreme demonization because these gods and goddesses, many of the yoga poses are actually used to worship specific gods and goddesses.
and the pain The beauty and the suffering But remember who wound up starving. Remember who wound up depressed. Remember who wound up in trouble. Remember who wound up having to come back. Now at Joseph's feet. And I'm telling you with all the strength of my heart, this has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with spirituality. It has nothing to do with organization. It has to do with your brain. It has to do with your mind. There is a chasing in there in the right hemisphere. There are the brothers in there in the left hemisphere. And in most cases, the brothers are ruling the day in all of us. But one day, when we are broken and beaten, those brothers are going to have to come to the right side. And now they're being locked down. We're going to move to a situation where to protect the health system, we're going to lock out people who are not vaccinated and can be. If you're making the choice not to get vaccinated, then you're making the wrong choice. You're making the wrong choice. Uh, we cast you out without a doubt. Caution to the wild wind.